Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Huh? Let's go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Y'all already know it's your man, Super Bad the Battle Axe. The Holy Spirit has definitely been encouraging me. I've definitely been hard and down on myself. Just feeling like a failure as I've been walking with Christ. But the Holy Spirit had to chastise, correct, and encourage me at the same time. And all glory to Christ. But we have to understand that just because we fail while walking with the Lord does not make us failures. Because it says in Psalm 73, 26, that though my heart and flesh faileth, the Lord is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So though we fail at times, the Lord never will. He will always prosper. He will always prevail. The Holy Spirit also had to remind me, just going back to Ephesians 2, that it's not going to be me working or earning my way into heaven, saving myself. No, it's Jesus that's doing that. That's why it says that in Ephesians 2. It's by God's grace ye have been saved. It's not of yourselves. And if you're going to boast, you're going to be boasting about the, 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 the works that God is doing, not what you're doing. So I know when it's all said and done, it's not going to be about me boasting what I did for Christ. It's going to be about me boasting about what Christ did for me. Because I'm an imperfect, wretched vessel of dust. But don't accept defeat in Jesus' name. Because 2 Corinthians tells us also that thanks be unto God who causes us to triumph in Christ. So no matter the trial or the trouble that you're going through right now, Jesus is going to cause you to triumph. Because God never loses, man. I just wanted to speak life to you right now in Jesus' name. Because the Lord is definitely doing for me and I know how it is. Walking with the Lord is not easy. But it's definitely worth it. So stay the course. I love y'all. Shalom, shalom. Peace be unto you.